Hello and welcome to today's session. My name is Niall and I'm going to be talking you through the Reflect tool. Now, I think that this is absolutely fantastic. I learned all about it in preparation for BETS 2022, where I saw some absolute professionals uh, talking about ways that they would use it with their classes, um, especially for the emotional well-being check-ins, uh, for formative and for summative feedback as well. Uh, like I said, I think this is a brilliant tool. It, it depersonalizes those feelings and it allows your students to explore their emotions and, and their feelings in a fun and a safe way um, that doesn't need to be shown to every, like anyone or everyone. So yes, I do think that this is a fantastic tool. Um, and yeah, let's jump straight in. I'll see you up on the big screen. Okay, so here we are on the big screen. I'm in my Microsoft team right now. I'm in my primary seven team. You can see that out on the left there. And I'm on posts. So what I'm wanting to do is I want to create my Reflect. So you can see it's here. Um, I've previously put one up, but I've uninstalled it and started again just so that uh, we, can, we can do that all together. So I'm gonna click on New Conversation down at the bottom. And you will see that when I click on the three dots on the right hand side, we can search for different apps. Now, I've already had it suggested because I've already had it and uninstalled it. Um, so from here, you can type in Reflect and there we can add it from within there. I'm just gonna click on Reflect to add it to my applications for Microsoft Teams. And here we go, we're ready to start creating our Reflect. Before we do that though, I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna show you that if I click on more apps, there are so many different applications here that, that you can use. And um, you'll see that Reflect comes up quite a bit as well. Um, I've There is on the right hand side there, down in the middle of education. It's, it's like I say, it's taken over. Everybody's new favorite app, app for Microsoft Teams is Reflect. Um, if you do want to explore adding in any other apps for uh, your students or for your teams, this is the place to do it. Um, so all I did was, let's go back, new conversation, three dots, and more apps, okay? So you will notice now um, when I click on Reflect that I can start adding in my my reflect for the for the day I can start asking pupils how they're feeling so up at the top we have our question how are you feeling today we can change this for so many different questions um, and these are all pre-programmed in so you can just uh, click on the ones that is most suitable to the situation that you're in and uh, then you can ask your students so under the categories, we've got personal and social. How are you feeling today? Overall, how did you feel this week? Um, how, how do your friendships feel today? How do you think your classmates are feeling right now? So it's not just about yourself. Uh, you get the opportunity to uh, put yourself in somebody else's shoes, which is always a, a tough and hard thing for students to do. Uh, outside of the personal kind of side of, uh, of, of using Reflect, We've also got, how do you feel about your ability to succeed in this class? How are you feeling about the material that we covered today? How do you feel about your progress in this class? And how do you feel about the last assignment? And your goals and intentions, what emotion will you choose to approach your next big challenge? What emotion, uh, or sorry, which emotion will you choose to approach this school year? And how do you feel about your progress towards your personal goals? And which emotion will you choose to resolve conflicts? So there's loads of different questions in there that you can ask your students to kind of get them to feel about different situations. It's not just about themselves. It's putting them their kind of thoughts and feelings into, um, into the, I guess, putting their, themselves in the shoes of other people. We're going to just start off with a nice, easy one um, that you can start getting your students to explore it for their morning emotional check-in or maybe their after lunch emotional check-in. How are you feeling today? The next thing as a teacher or as the educator in this scenario, you get to choose the privacy options. So you can change it so that the educators can see student names and the reflections, the monster that they're going to choose. Um, and the classmates can see the monsters that people have chosen, but they won't see any names. Or you can change it so that as a teacher you can see everything, but your classmates cannot see anything at all. They can't see what the person beside them has chosen to do. I like to have it on classmates see reflections. It allows them to uh, put themselves in the shoes of others and see, oh, why, is, why are maybe 
half the class feeling a bit sad today. Maybe they're feeling a bit nervous. Maybe you've got your primary sevens going up in their primary seven visit um, and you're using this to support them with their thoughts and feelings before they go up to high school. Um, this is your, your kind of chance to get them to explore the feelings of others. You could do it through that way. So classmates, see reflections, but not names. You can then choose how long it is open for. Um, if you are doing it just within your class and it's synchronous learning, then you could do it just for five minutes and say, you've got five minutes to fill this in, get it done. Or you could have it set for two hours. Maybe you're doing your asynchronous learning. Um, maybe you are offering it out to people for throughout the whole week. You could offer it for three days a week for them to kind of tell you how they're feeling. Maybe it's more towards the, uh, once they've completed a piece of work, how do they feel about that piece of work? Um, in this scenario, how are you feeling this morning for our emotional check-in? We're gonna select five minutes. And now we get to see what the students see. So how are you feeling today? Well, they can now choose, are they feeling really happy? Happy, kind of in the middle, uh, not so happy and angry or kind of strong negative emotion. If, as a teacher, I click on any of these, it's gonna show me the different monsters that the students are gonna be able to click. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, so today I feel, um, from the left-hand side, you can choose any of these uh, kind of the, the, the starter emotions, and now we've got our, um, our monsters that we are able to pick from. So we've got things like ambitious, confident, creative, determined. I absolutely love the monsters that they've chosen here for these. Um, the, the time and effort that's clearly gone into creating them is like it's clearly taken a lot of time. Uh, the, the, they are really high quality representations of our feelings. Um, and I like, this is my favorite part of, of the Reflect tool, is that that personalization is gone from the student. So when I'm thinking back to previous classes I've had, and I've had students in my class who are unable to name their own emotions, um, but they're able to name the emotions that are in front of them, maybe on other people, maybe on different monsters, they are able to say, well, the monster is feeling um, determined or energized, a bit kind of higher level there, um, but you can keep it easy, like happy or inspired. Uh, so that's why I really like it. If you've got a student who is feeling very angry, uh, where's angry, there we go, we could say, you could ask the student, oh, how does the monster feel in this scenario? How, do, how is the monster feeling right now? And they could say, oh, the monster is feeling angry. What could you see on that monster's face? Well, the eyebrows are kind of curved down and in, eyes are a wee bit uh, closer together, we've got a frowny face, teeth showing, it looks like they've kind of got fists on their hands ready to go and it looks like they're running as well. And we've also got the, the lightning bolt up above the head. Um, another thing to note as well is the colour of these monsters will change as well. So you can see that I am on angry and all of these monsters here have kind of the, the ready or sorry, the pinky purpley ready and purple down at the bottom kind of colour. Um, I can choose something like overwhelmed and I can then go over to the, the kind of sad one and I can click on overwhelmed again. Now we know it's the same emotion, we know it's the same monster, but as a teacher, you can see that the student is feeling just a little bit sad um, because the color is different. You'll see that um, when I go to the just a little bit sad instead of the angry one, the colors are orange and pink instead of the overwhelmed red and purple, okay? So you can get that uh, kind of spectrum of how your students are feeling today. What else is nice as well is it fills it in for you. Today I feel overwhelmed and it's gonna actually type that word in here. So this is a great tool for getting us to explore different emotions as well. Uh, we all know that people just say, I feel happy, sad, tired, angry, um, excited, maybe a couple of others. And there we've got five emotions. But within our Reflect tool, we've got all of these different emotions uh, that students can feel. They can feel proud, they can feel successful. We can feel inspired, motivated, successful again, uh, glad. We've got tired, skeptical, content, uh, pensive. We've got apathetic. Ooh, <laughs> that's a, that's a, definitely a, a higher order one there. Overwhelmed, hurt frustrated, um, we've got our angry emotions as well, such as miserable, worthless, lonely, hurt, or a strong negative anyway. Um, so it gives us new vocabulary, new words to explore, and a visual for them as well. So now that we have chosen our monster, um, as a student, all you're gonna do is just hit next instead, um, and we are gonna hit exit student view just now as the teacher. So 
Now that we've done that, as a teacher we're all set up, ready to go, we're going to ask how are you feeling today, five minutes they've got to answer that, and then I'm just going to hit send. Now my students will have five minutes to select their answers. Uh, as a teacher, I can select these again and kind of see how the, sorry, see all the different monsters um, and allow, uh, blah, 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 sorry, start that again. Um, as a teacher, let's try that again, um, I can hit on any of these emotions here and it's going to bring up um, the graphs for how our students are feeling. So I know that Pam, Dan and, and myself, my other account here that I'm using, um, have not yet filled in. Once you have your students, uh, once all your students have uh, kind of filled it in, you're able to see how they are all feeling. And this is also the same for the students as well. This is what they'll see. They can see that, say, 20% are feeling really excited. Uh, they can see that 5% are feeling really angry. And it just creates a nice little bar graph for us uh, to explore how our students are feeling. Brilliant links in there to maths as well. We're discovering about percentages. Um, you could start to work out, well, what is 20% of our class? What number is that? Um, what does that look like on our chart? So the opportunities are there for uh, different curricular links as well. But this really is just a chance for very quick feedback. So um, what are the other opportunities for it? So we've done it as a kind of emotional check-in. You could do it straight after break, lunch, uh, in the morning. You could do it before you go off and do a giant activity as well. Maybe, like I said, for the P7s, they're going off to explore the high school for their new visit. You could get them to kind of note down how they're feeling before and afterwards and note the changes as well. We could also, let's go to reflect again, <coughs> excuse me, um, ask a different kind of question. So. You could ask, how do you feel about the work that we've just done? Um, how did you feel? Maybe they're doing a new subject. Maybe they're starting a new topic as well. How did you feel about that? Are you excited to learn about dinosaurs? Or are you excited to learn about how to use the, the micro bits? Or maybe you're feeling a wee bit anxious about coding because you've never done that before. You could ask your students um, to, to create, well, to answer a very quick reflect um, and then you can get that formative feedback uh, straight away. You've then got the answer to how you, all of your students are feeling. You could use it as an alternative to things like Fist to Five um, and, and use it as uh, kind of that hidden um, formative feedback. We know that people always try to look <laughs> when you're trying to do it secretively, but this way it really is secretive um, for our students. Okay, Okay. so now that we have had a look at how to use the Reflect tool within our posts on our Microsoft team, let's have a look at using it within Class Notebook. So I'm going to click on Class Notebook um, and I'm going to go to this maths page here before I send it out to my students. Now it's important that you click somewhere on the page where you want the Reflect to, tool to go. Um, just because if you don't click anywhere, it's going to appear up in your title. I've made that mistake plenty of times. Okay, so click exactly where you want it to go. Um, I'm going to put it down here and you can move it afterwards. Um, and then we're going to go to class notebook and reflect. Okay, so now we get a couple of questions that we can ask our students. Are we wanting to ask them on their confidence to succeed, satisfaction with their progress, their motivation to learn, understanding of the content, their prior knowledge, or their level of effort? Let's go with uh, their confidence to succeed. And um, we're then going to, if you click on some of these uh, ones here, you do get the opportunity to change the question um, if you want to, but we're just going to go with their confidence to succeed. And the question is, how confident are you about your ability to see succeed in this class? Add check-in to page, and there you'll notice that our check-in appears for the students. Okay, Like I said, you can move it if you need to afterwards, uh, just make sure you click on the page before you put it in. Okay, so now we can ask your students, um, how confident are you in your ability to see it in this class? And we, as the teacher, get to see all of the results. The students get the exact same thing as we've just shown you. Um, oh, I'm going to need to log in and I'm probably going to need, am I going to need my authenticator? No, I'm good. Okay, so now we can see exactly the same as before, how confident, oh, sorry, uh, we can see who has filled it in, who's let us know, um, and who's still yet to complete the work. This is great as a way of seeing who, you could use it as who's finished the work, um, who found the work tricky, who found the work hard, who found working with a partner hard, gathering all sorts of emotions there um, and using the reflect tool to reflect on every single piece of work which is in there kind of uh, with, within their portfolios. So I'm just gonna hop back on to the big screen just now, I will see you there. 
Thank you so much for joining us for today's Reflect tool uh, discovery and, and dive into how you can use it to support your students with things like um, their uh, emotional check-ins in the morning, afternoon, um, checking in on them uh, after, before, during a piece of work. You can use it for your formative feedback. You could use it for summative feedback. You can use it to put your students into the shoes of other people. Maybe you're watching a thing on uh, or like a video or, or a piece all about some, some of the kind of major world disasters um, and you're getting the students to kind of try to get them to understand how these people are feeling in these different countries or after these uh, world disasters that are going on. Um, so you could use it for so many different things um, and these are all kind of uh, uh, ways that I've, I've, I've picked up from BET. So if I was working alongside you on the Microsoft stalls, thank you so much for, for all of your hints and tips on how to use the Reflect tool. I really do think that it is outstanding and that it is an amazing um, app that every school should be using. Um, it's, I love the, the depersonalization of it um, and that your students aren't tied to their emotion. They could just name the emotion that's on uh, the screen that the, the, the monster is showing. Uh, for me, that is the 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 best thing about it. Um, also mentioning how high quality the monsters are, <laughs> they look really cool. Um, I also like all the colours they've used. So thank you so much for joining us for today's Reflect Tool uh, dive as we discover how you can use it with your students. I hope you've picked up something new. If you do have any questions, pop them into the chat. Um, we'll be manning that in the background here just now. And yeah, I'm really excited to hear all about uh, how you're using the Reflect Tool. You can find us on Twitter at Tablet Academy. SC. You can find me on Twitter personally at Niall Ridgeway is my name. Uh, you'll find me through the Tablet Academy SC Twitter if you're looking there. We've also got Instagram, Facebook, um, we've got LinkedIn, we've got TikTok. We are absolutely everywhere. So please do just give us, drop us a wee follow and um, yeah, we will look forward to working with you in the future. Keep an eye out. We've got loads of different videos coming up in the future as well. So we've got things like our Excel enthusiasts, which are going to be five lessons um, for both students and teachers to learn alongside each other. So we're really excited about that one. We think that, that one's going to be an absolute hit. I know so many people find Excel that little bit harder than maybe PowerPoint, Word, Outlook, OneNote, Teams, these kind of things. So definitely keep an eye out for our Excel enthusiasts. I believe they start on the 23rd of May, so keep an eye out there. We've got our digitized summer sessions that we're running. We've got loads of different Microsoft sessions that are going to be happening. We're also working with Microsoft and Education Scotland at the moment to discover the Digital Futures program, um, and we are looking at every week a different aspect of that. These, these are free lessons that Honestly, it's outstanding. It's kind of more for the older ones, maybe um, upper primary, definitely into secondary. Um, I think they start at, at level three, um, as, if you're going by kind of the Scottish curriculum there. So have a wee look at those. Um, we've had two sessions out already as of last week, so double check them. Um, I know that we've had some great feedback so far on them. Thank you again for joining us. I hope to see you on a future session. And if you do have any questions, please pop them in the chat and we'll get back to you soon. Cheers. Thank you for your time. Bye.